Meet the Beatles? What the hell is Meet the Beatles? <laughs> is that another one of those? Yesterday and Today? It's one of those, like, Capitol Records ones or whatever. Interesting. Hi, right, guys. Welcome to Lee Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. <laughs> we are back with the Beatles, of course, for um, our Beatles Sunday, Tuesday, whatever day you're watching this. It could be any day. Who knows? It, gets, it might get blocked. It might not. Um, I actually almost added this other track to it, but I know that it's, that one's going to get blocked no matter what, so I'm going to do that on a different day. Um, but we're going to be listening to This Boy, Take One, by The Beatles. Um, I think it's just called This Boy. Uh, it was credited to the Lennon-McCartney um, partnership, but it was written by John Lennon. It was the B-side of uh, I Want to Hold Your Hand in the U.S., but it was also issued on Meet the Beatles in January of 1964, which is uh, Capitol Records' a reconfigured version of With the Beatles album. Uh, the Beatles performed the song live February 16, 1964 on the Ed Sullivan Show, which is their second appearance. And then um, and there was a, a retitled uh, Ringo's theme, This Boy, which featured in A Hard Day's Night. Um, this was take one, though, so I don't know exactly which one that is, but there's a little slideshow that I think that goes with it as well. And thank you to our patron, Laura A, uh, for this wonderful pick, I'm guessing. Um, let's go. If you all are not subscribed, help a brother out. Click that icon right below my face. Uh, if you want to see a bunch of other Beatles reactions, there's a playlist right there. Uh, I've done a bunch of solo stuff too. And um, if you want to watch full album reactions, they are on my Patreon. All right. This Boy by The Beatles. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. You're right. Get this bloody little mic out of the way. <clears throat> Don't be nervous, John. Don't I'm not. Nervous. Don't be nervous. <laughs> <laughs> that boy took my love away. But he'll regret it. Someday, this boy wants you back again. Hey, do what? That boy isn't good for you. Though he may want you to. too quick and like i said i was gonna bundle it with another track and i just know that one's gonna get blocked so i didn't even want to this one might get through i you know it's very rare that we actually have a beatles sunday you know so i try my best you know sometimes to get one through because it's not fair that the patreon folks you know only get it so i i try my best um yeah that was that was really good it's um apparently this was John trying to write a tune uh, in the style of Motown star Smokey Robinson, which was uh, actually specifically his song, I've Been Good to You, which has the same circular doo-wop chord uh, changes, melody, and arrangement. Um, you Don't Understand Me, a B-side to a Bobby Freeman single. Uh, 
Paul McCartney also cites the Teddy Bears 1958 hit to know him is to love him as being influential to the song. <laughs> There's a band called the Teddy Bears. That's hilarious, bro. Um, <laughs> the the Beatles hole just it just keeps getting deeper and deeper, man. Like, you know, I've done a lot of their not a lot. I've done some of their early stuff, you know, like the very earliest stuff, um, you know, Twist and Shout and stuff like that. It's and I know that they were like um, a band that kind of just touring and stuff and doing i think random kind of concert places around liverpool and stuff like that uh i forgot exactly what this you know how you guys told me but they started off before, you know, before they got big basically you know um and it's crazy that they they can get down and like play hard <laughs> they really can they can play heavy obviously helter skelter i mean that's evidence enough but they can also do these kind of sweet lovey-dovey songs like this too um that just, you know, they really do harken back to like the 1950s kind of doo-wop sound, it feels like. And uh, I, I like it, actually. Uh, it's very sweet. It's something I could put on for the girls and they probably really would enjoy it. So I might do that. Um, they already love, like I said, Yellow Submarine and Dear Prudence because I play them all the time and they love it. And they, they always sing along to Yellow Submarine. They love that. And uh, one day, whenever they sit still, maybe I'll actually sit down and do like a reaction with them to the movie or something. They might like that. And I know you guys would love that. So eventually Danica will be able to sit still. I know Victoria might be able to sit still for a little while, but they're very, um, you know, how kids are. <laughs> they don't, they can't focus on nothing worth a crap, you know, more than 20 minutes nowadays. And uh, I try not to be like that. I try to like, you know, delay gratification because that instant gratification, man. Once you get going with that, it just never stops. So you nothing will ever be good enough. That's how it feels like. Uh, but, you know, I love John and, you know, he just is a very talented writer. And anything he sets his mind out to do, he's going to accomplish, especially in the songwriting department. And if you wanted a song in the style of Smokey Robinson, he got it, man. That's exactly what it sounded like. And it was so um, it was so true. It felt like to the actual influence that it's uh, that's just the Beatles. uh paying homage to some of their, you know, influential people, you know, because they took influence from a lot of different bands. It feels like it wasn't, you know, just a certain uh, genre that they drew from. They drew from a lot of stuff and especially they, it feels like they uh, kind of blazed their own path as well. You know, uh, compared to a lot of the other bands at the time, their contemporaries, they just uh, were in a, a league of their own, like compared to everybody else, you know, um, and even to this day, like I said this in the video a while back, that you think that uh, they they would want us to surpass the you know the heights that they achieved, and I don't think we have honestly. I, you know, everyone's tastes are different. Everyone likes different stuff, you know. But just some of the musical highs that they hit are just uh, almost unreachable. But I feel like we could do it. You know, it it, it would just take a lot of um, chance and um, a lot of effort. You know, <laughs> and that's something that people really don't put the like put in these days. It feels like. Um, you know, and that's rich coming from, you know, a YouTuber that just does reaction videos. But uh, there's a lot of work, you know, that goes into it more than you think, especially someone who puts out six a day like me. There's a lot that goes into it, guys. Like for real, I prep every morning. Um, then I start recording, got to edit, render, post them. I fall asleep probably at the computer every night. So if you ever see typos or stuff like that in the morning uh, before the video start, <laughs> that's because I was falling asleep while I was typing them because, uh, you know, got to do the stuff with the kids all day and then. I only have a certain amount of time at night to record and, you know, I'm really tired at the end of the night. It's, it's a lot of work, you know, harder than you think, but it's still very, I'm so grateful for this, you know, like I, um, not only do I get to become cultured and more wise and I don't know, a lot of, like even more patient, like there's so much stuff that I've learned by, you know, from doing this channel, um, and then just running the channel alone, let alone, you know, the music itself and talking with you wonderful people. It's, it, it's been a journey and the Beatles have been probably the highest high that we've hit because it's uh they're just so monumental man i used the word monolithic before and i think a previous video but that's kind of like how they are they're just these monoliths of culture now and um you know their story is going to be told for a lot longer than we're going to be alive you know what i mean like if as long as we survive man the beatles story and their music i think is going to live forever uh basically as long as we do unless we, we keep going and we keep going and we keep going then I don't know, maybe then they'll be forgotten except down to a little melody that for some reason all of our descendants remember. And if they hear a melody similar to it, they'll be like, huh, that kind of sounds familiar, you know? 
that's kind of what we have with certain things. And I feel like, and it's from our ancestors and what they probably listened to, you know, um, I know I get certain moments like that with music. I'm like, huh, wonder where I heard that before. I never have, but that's a story for another day, I guess. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I know that was kind of short and sweet today, but that's all I got for you. Next week will be a day in the life. Um, well, maybe not even next week. I might do it sooner, but, uh, it's a day in the life off of anthology. I think it, I don't know if it's take one as well. Um, well, I have it downloaded right here. I can check it. It is a day in the life out oh, anthology two version. That's what it is. Uh, and that's also a request from Laura as well. So if not next week, I'll might do it sooner too. Um, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Thanks for watching guys. Um, you guys are the best. I really appreciate everything you do. I will see you later. Patreon right there. Oh, go away. So that's a picture of it. There's a link in the description. If you want to join, just go uh, look at the page. There's like a whole tier guideline, depending on whatever song you want to request. If you do want to request a song, there's some people that just join Patreon just to join Patreon to support the channel. So I appreciate you guys as well. Um, there's like a bunch of you actually. So, um, yeah, you guys rock. You really do. Uh, there's also a PayPal as well in the description if you want to send a tip or request in that way. But, 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 if you join Patreon, you get access to our patrons-only Discord, access to all of our blocked videos, including, uh, like, three full album reactions to uh, Revolver, Abbey Road, and the well, ha the White Album's half, uh, Sgt. Pepper is the other full one, and then... Uh, please please me that is the other half one and there's some random singles and stuff in there too you know and there's tons of other bands as well that is my dumping ground for all of the many blocked videos that i do i have because i do a lot of videos so a lot of them get blocked and that's where they go actually, i actually have to upload a couple beatles videos that got taken down so i'll add those to patreon whenever i get a chance um but i think that's it though guys thanks for watching y'all rock see ya